Is that your first catch on one of those? This is my first catch on the Gantt Trail. Was good, DFW residents. Tuesday, April 12th, out here on the golf course. We about to get after him with Adele. Uh, hold on a second. Hello, I'm doing the intro. Let me call you right back. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, all uh, good. Please don't, um, no, I'm doing the intro. I gotta go. Okay, goodbye. Love you. All right, y'all. Let's get to fishing. It is 84 degrees. Woo! Sounds like a good day for Carl's bait and sunshine. Solid coverage. Probably need some tackle. All right. Oh, wait, where's my... A little bit on the nose. It's still red from the other day. In fact, I think it's peeling. Yeah, we just stay on that side of the bank when they're uh, teeing off, and then whenever they're done, we can hit this side. Only problem here is this eight-foot swim bait rod. Yeah, please don't mind this blob on the uh, GoPro lens the entire video. Apparently, I neglected to check the lens today, and uh, hopefully it's just for this one video and you won't see this anymore. All right, there we go. Four combos. Grab the goodies. Adele's six feet away. All right, let's hit the pond. Caught anything yet? Not yet today. Yesterday was good. There was a little kid out here about a month ago, and he caught a nice little bass. Woo! Nice. Wow. Yeah, this is a good spot. There he is. There he is. Come on up. <laughs> there we go. That's not bad. I'm just trying to get out of your way before you tee off, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think so. He might even be a little bigger. I'm going to grab these. I got to grab the pliers on these treble hooks. Not too bad for the first fish. Saw it come up and smack it. That was awesome. Just like that, y'all. Jackal Gantrell pulling out one of the first fish of the day. A decent sized one, we saw it smack it right at the bank. Awesome catch, we're gonna try and get a few more just like that. And they tend to hit close to your feet. Like what had happened, I casted it way out. Don't mess up that stone brewing hat. And about the time I was creeping it from the deep right into the shallows is when they come and ambush it. Exactly what happened with this guy. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water, try and catch something bigger because we know there's some monsters in this pond. Every, every visit, everyone here has been real cool. These golfers are uh, on another level, guys. It's that southern hospitality. Speaking of, we're getting Adele rigged up with one of these Gantrell Juniors as well. He's going to be throwing the spawn gill, though. Darker coloration, we are both going to get smacked, y'all. He hasn't thrown one of these yet. Got to get him on these Gantrells. They're just such an awesome bait. You've seen, him, you've seen a catch in almost every one of our recent videos on this thing. All right. And you'll get those follows, dude. Oh. Okay, there we go. This one's bigger. Come on up, kid. Woo! -hoo! That one might be a uh, three and a half right there. Let's get him. Yee hoo! That's what I'm talking about right there. Might be a three, three and a half. Let's get him on the scale. What are we talking about? Oh, man. Coming up a little shy. I think these are some spawned out females here. 2.84. So closing in on three pounds, but not quite there. That's a solid bass, though. Tell you what. All right, guys, bass number two closing in on three pounds right as the next group of golfers about to tee off over here. We're having a bunch of fun. Got us another solid bass, man. That's what I'm talking about. Throwing those Jackal Gantrill swim baits. That is the ghost gill color. Let's get them back in the water. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. All right, come on. Fish number two, man. Line's still feeling good. Always check it. You don't want to risk losing these baits over some frayed line. Make sure you retie if it feels like it's necessary. That was a good one right there. Hey! 
<laughs> Adele got his first one on the jackal. Hold on, we gotta go see this. Dude, this guy came out of the shrubs and just slammed it, dude. Look at the way he <laughs> ate that thing. Bow troubles. Wow. Is that your first catch on one of those? This is my first catch on the Gantt Trail. So sick. Putting in work out here on the Gantt Trail. Let me grab your pliers and I'll come over here because they got the... Yo, so these things are killing it out here. I think Wesson's already on his second. This is uh, fish number three for the both of us, my first. All I was really doing was just casting along the bank parallel and um, swimming it through the grass. This little dude just came out of nowhere, grabbed it, and got both troubles, man. Any of you, check him out. Let's get this guy back in the water. Get some more. All right, then let's do it. Dude. You're just creeping this thing slow, and about the time he gets right to where it's shallow, they come out of the, the deep and just boom. It's awesome. <laughs> How y'all playing today? Game's going good? Yeah, what a, what a gorgeous day. Isn't it? I'm telling you what. All right, y'all have fun. Do something different. And I'm just gonna cast straight out a few times. So check this out, as it gets close, it's not uncommon for me to like whip it like that and then just leave it. And sometimes they'll just come and smack it while it's paused. So just because they seem to be hitting it right there in the darkness has been accurate. Like if I'm going to get hits that day. Yeah. Oh, there's a ah, the first missed one of the day and he was out further than any of them have hit so far i think that was easily a three he came up for it probably out of the deep i don't even know how deep it is right there dude holy smokes that was like in the middle of the pond no way you got another Dale got another one. <laughs> dang bring that thing over here let's try and double up give me two casts adele got another dude locked and loaded on these things i was thinking the bite slowed down a little bit well it definitely has but Adele's got to split you guys, so he's going to take off that Jackal Gantrell. But what a day, man. Two and two fish on these things. Different colors. You got to pick one up, dude. Shop Carl, save 30% on your baits, like we do, boy. And catch some fishies. Your call has been forwarded. Yeah, I've just been going for bass, but I'm sure there's a mixture of just about everything. All right, guys, we're trying something different. Check us out. We got some saw craws, and these are in the Texas craw color. And we've got a large PB&J jig. I'm just going to try and toss this out there deep now that they seem to be off the banks. PB&J gridiron jig, three quarter ounce. Like this thing has got a hefty hook on it. I'm probably going to take off one section of this craw. You know what? I might just throw this whole thing big and bulky. That might actually suit it best. Throw this whole saw craw on there. It kind of has that peanut butter color. The skirt's going to handle the jelly. And we're going to see if we can't get a big old monster on this thing right here. I'm pretty amped about this separate these pinchers on the saw crawl and get this thing in the water going out deep in search of the big bite now throwing a bigger jig than normal and i think they've gone out a little ways away from the bank again so we haven't seen as many followers and getting as many hits up shallow now the heat of the day might be kicking in and this is where we got to go on the hunt down low low and slow peanut butter jelly time There we go, got him. Biggest one of the day, here we are. This one's got some girth. He's taking us. All right, we are gonna have to get this guy up here on this light line. Boom, that might be the biggest one of the day. Fat on that jig, yes. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Peanut butter jelly time, baby. Halfway decent one, yes sir. Thank you. Uh, large mouth bass, yes sir. Yeah, thank you so much. Got our first one probably closing in on three pounds. It might even be bigger. Actually, I think it is bigger than three pounds. What we're gonna do is weigh this thing before we put it back in the water. Biggest fish out of here today, for sure though. That's what we're talking about, guys. So a three pounder, biggest fish of the day on the jig. Just had to switch it up, throw some stuff on the bottom, got their attention. 
Let's get Big Mama back in the water. Get ready. How cool is that? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I have a YouTube channel, so I just kind of post them up on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. Usually just small city ponds and come out and have some fun. Here comes some golfers. Three so far. Yes, sir. Uh, the last one was three pounds. That one was pretty good. Bass. Thank you. Coming to you live from the tee, baby. We are going to start throwing the drag and drop for just a minute. I've thrown the jig around for quite a while and I could have gotten very lucky on that hit or I might just uh, be in need of a little bit more patience, but I'm gonna tone things down a little bit, finesse down to the drop shot. I think we're gonna get some more hits on that. They, I just saw one shy away from the jig as I casted it towards the bank. So I'm thinking it might be a little, uh, might be the wrong thing to keep throwing. So let's try the drag and drop. Okay, y'all, drag and drop lasted all of two seconds before I realized one of my GoPro batteries was dying and I might just make a move to another pond or call it. Uh, I definitely, either way, need to grab a drink and reapply the old sunscreen because it is the first time my toes have seen the sun all year. Um, but I did apply it, so we're looking pretty good. Anyways, that, what's the point, Weston? All right, <laughs> let's go ahead and, everyone is speeding during quarantine. All right, let's go ahead and just make the next move, whether it's home or another pond. Eight foot rod in the Camaro. Do, do, do. There we go, successful. Okay, what is next on the agenda, boys? Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice. Damn it, Bryce. We fishing or sleeping out here? Well, guess we're hitting up the gas station for some water. Okay, y'all never before seen. Check this out, I'm pumped. We got an Ozarka, right? But y'all. Boom! We also got the Coca-Cola Energy. I don't know. It's probably terrible. This has 39 grams of sugar, which is 77% of your daily value, apparently. I probably won't drink all this. I just... Are y'all not as curious as me after seeing... I'm pretty sure it was Jonah Hill, right? I don't know if it was Super Bowl commercials, but, like, when you saw the commercial and you just thought Coca-Cola, you're like, I just gotta try it. So, anyways, the lady at the register was like, yeah... They gave us all one when they first came out. It's kind of like a promotional deal so we can give our take on it. And none of us really cared for it. So here goes the first sip. I assume the same thing. Got to get a lot. Almost tastes like a watered down Coca-Cola. Is there hints of cherry or is it just messing with me because this can's red? A couple more sips. That's probably all I'm going to have. I literally just had to try this. Like, have y'all tried this? Do you like it? It's not bad. Ooh, sugar. Okay, wash that down with about half of this now. Oh, that's cold. <coughs> Brain freeze. The Coke energy, you know, it's not half bad. I'm feeling coked up. I don't have a discount code for y'all, so you're gonna have to pay full price. So many juicy ponds in the area. We just got on Fish Brain and Google Maps and found some spots. I'm all hyped up on Mountain Dew. And I found a juicy little pond. And somebody's on a boat out fishing it already. It looks super juicy. Yeah. Y'all see that? He's either catching or not catching. And he's wearing my hat. It looks a little grassy. I'm thinking bluegill. It looks pretty shallow too. This guy's got the right idea. All right, let's talk more walk. Oh, do I want to take all this stuff? Yeah, so I saw this creek on the back end of this place. Am I really going to take the backpack? I don't think I want to. And uh, that's what I kind of want to hit despite how good the pond looks. So I'm just going to grab the jig and go hit that little spot for a second. Maybe I should bring the drop shot too. Probably should if I'm hitting the creek. Dang, I don't have a skateboard. What an idiot. All right, let's go. Screw it. Take the jackal too. A couple batteries though. That's probably a must. Locked and loaded. Yep. You know what? I'm just taking the whole backpack. Golly, second guess everything. You want to travel light, and then you realize you might need the freaking pliers and stuff. Setting off alarms, pissing people off. Let's go. All right. At least now we're not missing out on anything. Okay, hold up. Intermission. There's no bass logged out of here, but I just saw a little tyke swimming around. Let me throw this drop shot around for half a second because this just looks too much fun to pass up. It looks also like the grass could suck. 
So let's get a cast or two and probably lose the drop shot. Oh, wow. I thought we got hits right off the bat. Oh, we do. We have one. First cast. Two seconds. Two seconds. First ever bass out of this pond, probably. Read them and weep, boys. That is what we're talking about. Dudes, I'm telling you what. If I'm not a fish catching machine, that's one for the history books. Go ahead and subscribe to Weston Smith on YouTube and just, just hit that like button. Nothing but bigs out here. Oh my gosh. Well, that was mission accomplished. Should I try and stay here and see if there's anything bigger or just let that be? If it was first cast, there's got to be more in here. All right, how is this? What is going on with this line? I'm about to get angry. I'm just going to rip this drag and drop. I don't even care. Irritating. Is that a freaking alligator? Is that a sloth? What the heck? Catfish? Bass? That thing just annihilated whatever it ate. I'm about to put this spot on the map, dude. If I catch a three pounder out of here, I will flip. Okay, this place is an oasis, but we're gonna leave it be on that one little catch. Doubt we catch anything too much larger out of here. And we are decimating our drag and drop as we speak. And it needs to get some creek time in. I see. This creek feeds from the main pond right in there. There was a little bass in here too. I see a little bass over here in the shallows. Oh, there goes a halfway decent one. Okay, so there's the creek I wanna hit, but first, let's just try the main body. Let's hit this pond real quick. Oh, something just went for it. No way. Just had a good one, go for it, guys. He's right on the bank too, I see him. I think he sees us though. Here we go, we're gonna go for him again. Wow, he just got bumped. That's one of the few bumps I've had today where the bass didn't just absolutely take it under and destroy it. Dang, I think he saw us and got spooked. Here comes a good one. We're gonna swim right up to it. So he's, he's, he's going towards the bluegill. Oh, he's on it. He's on it. He's on it. He wants it. Oh, he had it. Fudge. Damn it. How do I keep missing bass here? This is, oh my gosh, that would have been the third catch. So irritating. I saw him swimming towards it. I creeped it just right. Oh, that is frustrating, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, this looks sweet. I'm trying to be quiet down here, but uh, this drag and drop might just get something, something done. Well, suppose we made it this far. We might as well see what is around corner number one. This creek's pretty shallow. You can pretty much see everything, but at least I get an A for effort. I don't think there's much this way. A little bluegill. Okay, so basically all that has happened down here in the creek is we lost our drop shot and then we retied a new leader using a double uni knot with 12 pound monofilament. And then we tied on a Ned rig with a one tenth ounce mushroom head jig from Carl's bait and tackle. And we are going to make a move out of this creek. Everything we have tied on is from Carl's bait and tackle. Actually the jackal gantrill, the jig, the saw craw, and the Ned. So everything I'm throwing can be purchased at Carl's if you're interested in grabbing some gear that you're seeing thrown in today's video. All right, let's get out of this creek. This is what I'm talking about. Now here's where the big bass are at. Well, I was hoping to get one on the Jackal Gantrell down here with how much success it's had today, but I think we're gonna have to go with the Ned for the creek. Got him, got him, got him. Yes, yes. <laughs> the little kraken prevails. Oh, he smoked it. Oh my gosh. Little guy chomped on the kraken crawl. Creek mission successful. Holy cow.
So I am a happy camper. What a success. It's been so crazy. I've been seeing little sunfish or gill or whatever just cruising through here. Finally, I saw some bigger fish, but they're like carp. Uh, they're, yeah, they're carp. And so they're just feeding off the bottom. No interest in what I'm throwing. And then I started getting some hits out deeper. And that's where the big boys are hanging out. They want that new Guggenbait's crawl, but the smaller size. Let's get him in the water. He's going to be fierce on his exit, I believe. He's ready to go. These little guys always scurry off. Choo! Creek mission successful. I don't care if I didn't get a bass or not. The little guy is more than enough to make me happy. I have been sticking it out too. I've literally been in the same spot for maybe 25 minutes just casting right here. Knowing that if I have a little bit of patience, I'm going to get that fish. Sometimes you just got to drop down in size when you're fishing these creeks. And that is exactly what we did with that new crawl. I'm out of here, man. Time to go hit that course pond again and try and get something big on that gantrail to end this thing. Oh boy. All right, we made it. Uh huh? <laughs> Try the bandito bug. That was the closest we've gotten. He went down after the bandito bug. Oh, he doesn't like it. Line tight. Got him. Got him. There we go. Come on up out of here. All right. Finessed him off that bed with the new Junior Bandito Bug. That's what I'm talking about. Probably just a pound, but hey, that was cool. Got him. <laughs> Woo! Little Bandito Bug did it. <sighs> All right, guys. That's what I'm talking about. A successful day catching fish out of almost every body of water we've hit. This has been a fun one. I hope you guys enjoy and think the same. That was super cool. Wonder if we can even get a bigger one. I'm just gonna get him right back in the water near his bed. Don't want to delay, but what a fun catch. We are digging it out here. See you, bud. Thank you so much for that one. First he came up for the Jackal Gantz rail, then he wasn't as aggressive towards it after he had seen it once or twice. So we switched it up to the little craw, but it was kind of torn up from fishing it in that creek and it was coming off the hook. And so then we switched to a bandito bug. He wasn't showing interest in it, more interest in the craw. But what had happened is I let it drop all the way down. That was a big blow up out there in the middle. I let the bandito bug drop all the way down. And once it flopped around on its bed a little bit, that's what it really didn't like. So now if I can find some more, I think I can key in on that bandito bug med rig combo. Woo! so cool and you're going to get a better hookup ratio uh, with these smaller guggen baits so let me show you you're going to get a better hookup ratio with these smaller guggen baits because they're only 3.3 inch so you can use a little net hook like this and there's less of a bandito bug for that bass to grab so it's easier for it if it tries to pick it up and move it off its bed it's easier for it to grab the whole thing and get that hook this is a springtime and bed fishing extraordinaire a ned rigged bandito bug but you have to get this smaller size available at tackle warehouse probably soon to be everywhere but these smaller guggen baits man just nuts how well they perform and this is the blue baby color in case you're interested on some gear that is too heavy for it but we just lost our spinning combo recently uh so there's that let me try and get a couple more off the bank otherwise we're gonna call it what a fun day you guys all right oh shit I think we lost the peanut butter and jelly jig. Dang. Oh my gosh, we freed it. Wow. Whew. Tried to end it down here at the creek, but uh, almost lost my jig. I think that's my sign. I need to split. I'm running out of SD card space. It might be time to head home just before sunset, you guys. What a day. What a day. I'll say it again. I had to give the main body one last effort over here by the, uh, by the green. I think we're headed out, though. That's better. Well guys, that was absolutely killer. We had so much fun today. I almost wish I'd just hang out for another hour and catch these things on into darkness because I know they're gonna creep up and kill after. They would creep up and go after that Jackal Gantrill very soon as the sun fades, but I probably should get home and start editing this. I filmed so much today. I have hours of footage to go through. Thank you guys for sticking around for the whole thing. If you did, don't forget, new videos dropping probably tomorrow, man, on this quarantine. We're trying to crank them out one a day, so let's keep it rolling. Peace. <coughs>